Hello and welcome to another edition of UFO Video Addicts. Let me give you a preview of what I got coming up in this video. Well, the first is a clip from Chris Mellon that uh, he had mentioned in an interview and this guy went and hunted it down and figured out uh, what video he was talking about. This is a video from 2021 of uh, some UFOs seen in Argentina. Also got this um, video of a UFO scene in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. Uh, this one's kind of hard to see. It's a real quick uh, Tic Tac video. Tic Tac flies by real quick. And uh, let's see. This is a video that I'm pretty sure I've played before, but uh, I posted a video uh, a couple weeks ago of some strange lights in the, cl in the clouds, and this one is very, very similar. Uh, let's see. This is a video of a Bigfoot sighting. I mean, this these guys are way out in the middle of nowhere. And um, they believe that uh, this person walking up the snowbank is a Bigfoot. Because you actually, they actually watch it within a few minutes. Uh, go from here, like halfway up this uh, slope. I also have this article here from Vice about this uh, Stanford professor, Gary Nolan, who's been analyzing uh, materials from UFO crashes. And also this article here about a Catholic priest talking about uh, UFOs are here or outer space visitors are here, says priest. Take a look at that. And then last is this video. It's a TikTok video of a snake with fur that somebody found. You can see it right here. But yeah, I mean, have you, have you ever heard of a snake with fur? Imagine, uh, you know, if this is the first time you're ever hearing about a snake with fur, even though you've never known about it, this thing has existed. So uh, you'll be able to see it for the first time. Anyways, um, let's see. This is a video that this guy down here says, uh, during an interview, TTSA member Chris Mellon spoke about a UFO video. It took some doing, but eventually I was able to track down the video. So now down here is this video that this guy is talking about that he found. Here it is right here. Pretty quick. Play that again. Yeah, and really not the most exciting video, but uh, you know, this is apparently from Chris Mellon. And uh, he's be definitely been, you know, one of the people behind behind the cover up. And, you know, he's now part of the uh, the quote unquote disclosure, which, you know, I mean, I think is already happening. Anyways, uh, here's this video from uh, Argentina of uh, some lights in the sky. And, you know, this is very, very similar to so many other videos that uh, show similar craft. <laughs> Yeah, but you can see this is a f like a five minute video, you know, all the way in up to here, three minutes. I'm not too sure if it if this is all the same thing. Or you not even know if this is like a reflection or if this is two different uh two different crafts. But it's uh, yeah, it's five minutes long and these um are again most likely our underwater neighbors doing whatever they're doing, you know, conducting whatever duties or tasks that you know they were meant to do. I don't think the you know they're just like you know, a lot of people think they just got like, coming to this planet to just sh show themselves and then fly back or go back to the future no they're just you know they're conducting whatever routine task that they're supposed to perform on the planet that we share with them i don't think they don't i don't think they're trying to hide or anything like that at least at least this species isn't you know like i've said i'm pretty sure there's at least four four separate species but anyways uh, let's see here's another uh, video this is a uh, ufo at rio de janeiro
anyways that's as much as i want to play of that so let me go to this next video here yeah now this one real quick uh it goes it's in slow motion some of it is, is in slow motion and you can kind of make it out but you'll most likely have to um you know check it out for yourself on your on your computer but uh let's see here 90 degree turn without stopping yeah do you, there yeah there it is you see that thing here it is in slow motion let me start that again you're going to see this thing uh come down and then make this turn right in front of this uh, little hill. Yeah, this one's real hard to make out, but you know, there's a there's an object here moving. So you know, these things have been flying around in our skies for a long time, and you know, it depends on what species it is. I think um, some of the species, you know, are flying around in these Tic Tacs. Other ones have the cigars. Other ones have the ones that we can't even see that the, you know they're flying around in the infrared. Anyways, this is, uh, yeah, you have to um, download this video yourself or check it out. It's hard to see. Uh, this is a strange one. You know, this, I mean, people calling it a, cr a crown flash and saying that it's a, oh, this is a natural phenomenon. Yeah, you tell me if this is natural. Whatever this is, this is not any type of natural phenomenon. This is something up there with some type of device that's able to to control this ray of light. Yeah, but I guess it disappears. But anyways, yeah, it's a little over two minutes long. Uh, link will be in the video. Let's go to this one here. Yeah, this one here is another two minute long video. Now these guys are out in the middle of nowhere and they believe that this here is a Sasquatch. So now I'll play a little bit of before. There's so much more of all of this wilderness for them to live than there is in, 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 in the places that we occupy. So it wouldn't be difficult for, you know, small groups of these Bigfoots to be living in different parts um, of the outskirts, you know, of the areas where, where we don't live. And again, you know, the evidence is there. I mean, we're finding the footprints, we're finding, you know, people's videos. I mean, you know, this whole thing about, you know, why don't we find um, the, the, the dead bodies? You know, actually, some people have. There are photos. But, uh, you know, it's like, I mean, how often do people come across um, uh, bear carcasses, you know, in the, in the woods, even though, you know, a bunch of people are, 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 there's a bunch of hunters out there. I don't believe that that's very common. I don't know. Maybe it's, you know, if, I mean, if, if I'm wrong, I mean, someone could uh, say so in the comments. But um, anyways, a uh, link to this video will be in the description. Uh, let's see. Next is this article here from Vice about this uh, Stanford professor, Gary Nolan, analyzing anomalous materials from UFO crashes. A Q&A with one of the foremost scientists studying UAPs and what he hopes to learn by systematically studying bizarre and difficult to explain incidents. Dr. Gary Nolan is a professor of pathology at Stanford University. His research ranges from cancer to systems immunology. Dr. Nolan has also spent the last 10 years working with a number of individual analyzing materials from alleged unidentified aerial phenomenon. You know, this is the same guy that um, claims that the um, the Atacama humanoid is an actual humanoid, even though that thing is like six inches long. You know, God, I've seen porn dicks bigger than that goddamn little alien. But uh, this guy's trying to claim that, oh, it's a human. Plus, it has like uh, 12 ribs. It's... Um, skull is completely different and again it's freaking six inches long okay and this moron is trying to claim that oh yeah it's a human uh no it's not anyways a uh, link to this uh, article will be in the description uh let's see i got this article here the catholic northwest progress uh this is from the office of the secretary of state washington state library 
But uh, in it here is this article about uh, outer space visitors here, says priest. Outer space visitors here, says priest, Seville, Spain, Father Enrique Lopez Guerrero, parish rector at the nearby town of Morena de Alcor, says he is convinced several beings from planet Umu have been living in Spain and France for some time on a research mission. While avoiding any reference to his source, the priest is quite specific in his information he gives. They are living in some site of Spain as a colony doing good work and pursuing peaceful ends. To revere their location now will cause a social shock of damned consequences, something. The Umos are studying our civilization and our way of life. They are communicating their findings to scientists in the universe to foster cross oh something's wrong with this uh, text here and fraternity they cannot however mingle in earthly affairs the priest adds that other superior beings control the colony's movements and father lopez says the planet umo is about 14.6 light years from the earth and is very similar in size race and population to our planet very interesting Anyways, a uh, link to this article will be in the description. And last is this uh, video here of this um, hairy snake. Uh, we don't need to hear that. Look, have you ever in your life heard of a hairy snake? Well, here's the thing, right? I'm sure you've never ever in your life heard of a hairy snake. You've never even known a hairy snake existed and yet here it is, right? So the fact that you didn't know a hairy snake existed or you never believed that a hairy snake existed doesn't mean that a hairy snake can exist. You know, I bet you the, the first person that ever saw this and told, told it to someone said, hey, I saw a snake that had fur on it. They probably thought he was bullshitting, right? But yet here it is. It's like so many other things that, you know, that people claim to see just because you haven't seen it or just because you can't believe it doesn't mean that it can't be real. But anyways, um, link to this video will be in the description. Um, that's going to be it for this video. If you like things like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll have more things like this. Take care.